right, welcome back to the shop and today we're talking about uh, honing. So, uh, I did a video about honing and crosshatch patterns and the fact that they're there for oil retention and this whole thing about making a rough surface for rings to wear against, isn't there? So, so it's kind of like an aftermath of, uh, you know, and not only that is that the honing process is actually to bring things into spec. Um, as much as it is about oil retention and as much as it is about uh, bedding in rings and so on. So, um, what I want to talk about, um, there's two aspects and we'll do two videos on them, but um, number one is hot horn, which we're doing now, and the next one is, um, oh, not top, but yeah, top plates. Top plates, which will be the second video. But uh, right now we're talking about hot honing. So what is hot honing? Well, you'll see when they do honing and all the rest of it, I'll show you a clip now, but there's all this fucking oil being squirted at it. That is for two reasons. One, that's to keep the block nice and cool, um, because obviously any kind of grinding process, which honing is a grinding process, is an abrasive process, um, the block is going to get hot, which means it's going to expand in weird ways and all the rest of it. And when you are trying to abrade with grinding, trying to keep things cool um, is uh, you know of big importance because it's going to change the dimensions as you're honing and all the rest of it. Which then brings on to hot honing. Um, the whole point of hot honing is that you could keep an, uh, a cylinder really cool, like really cool, um, let's just say 20 degrees C. C, idiot. And when you horn that cylinder, um, just say exactly to 78,000 millimeters, if you were to horn that cylinder to that dimension, this is at 20 degrees C. Well, the engine doesn't run at 20 degrees C. The engine runs closer to 100 degrees C um, as, as an average across the entire engine. So what you do is hot honing is a process where basically you just have hot oil and you heat, the, you preheat and then you maintain the temperature and you keep the block at just say 100 degrees or 120 degrees C and then you horn it to 78, um, 78 millimeters bang on. So now when you horn this cylinder you can be sure that um, when you run this engine at the temperature that you know the engine runs at that it's going to be very close to what you've honed it to and not the temperature it was at 20 degrees because at 20 degrees when you heat this up this will expand outwards a bit and then you'll get leakage and all the rest of it you know what i mean it, it's not as precise and this is the thing with formula one and motor gp and very high high quality production engines is that um this is what we talk about, about the precision and the tolerances and the clearances. Basically when you run these high, high spec engines, race engines all, nearly all the time, that they are much closer and um, they are much more accurate in their dimensioning. Uh, and temperature needs to be taken into consideration when you are doing this. Because the engine is going to be running at 100 degrees on average, um, you know, and not 20 degrees, you might not think it's a lot, but it is quite a lot, and that's the precision about these things. You know, that is the whole precision. Um, it's like uh, Formula One, I heard from somebody a, a while back, someone who used to work for McLaren, that when they do their um, Formula One engines, that they don't generally let the engine cool down during the entire machining process, they like to keep the actual blocks and all the components at a high temperature. Um, when they're doing the machining and all the rest of it because then they know that they are that at that spec when they are in at that spec uh, at that temperature should I say hope that makes sense uh, the next video we'll do is uh, top plates and all the rest of it and I'll see you in a bit